When you go out your door in the course of your life, you contribute or detract from the beauty of the world around you. How you present yourself, how you dress, how you smell, how you, how you comport yourself can either contribute or detract from, from the experience that others are going to have uh, of, of beauty of the world around them. And I like the idea that I can be a contributor in a small way, but that I can be a contributor to beauty. Uh, and the Morgan, the Morgan I think does that. I think it's in a small way, a contribution to a space that doesn't hurt it. It doesn't harm it. It enhances it. Um, and I think you see that when you see the way people respond to it when you're driving. People smile. People like the cars. Um, it, it adds something to their day. It adds something to their story. And um, in a small way, I like that I can be part of that. So I'm working on a book. Uh, I'm doing some writing, um, some photo editing. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I'm a designer. I'm not sure I'm an engineer. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not an engineer. Um, but, uh, but I do appreciate how things are built and I do appreciate how things are made. Our lives are comprised of stories. And growing up, for me, my family had these Sunday dinners um, with my grandparents' house, my aunts, my uncles, cousins, brothers, sisters, parents, and we would sit around and we would tell stories. There'd be stories about sports and stories about the weather, stories about work. But my favorite stories were always the stories about cars. And um, listening to my grandfather tell stories about driving on the west coast of Canada uh, in the 50s and the 60s, um, the first time stoplights went in um, and how upset he was about those in Vancouver. Um, and he had these wonderful and interesting car stories and these wonderful and interesting cars. And, and I think for me that was part of the way that I came to relate to him and understand him. And some of our best memories, his and my best memories, were made in cars, were conversations that we had while he was driving. Um, and, and so I think cars were important to me and my family. Um, I like the experience of being behind the wheel. Um, and then I like the way that cars can turn moments, those, those sort of liminal spaces between here and there, between now and then, between where you are and where you're going, they can at their best take those moments and turn those moments into memories. They can turn those memories into stories. I think one of the tragedies of a lot of modern cars is that they don't do that. Uh, they condense that space and they eliminate that space. Yeah, this is, this is it. You can't not smile when you get the hood down. You smell everything in a Morgan. You're not cocooned from the outside. So if a field has just been plowed or um, you're driving by a, a dairy farm, you're gonna smell that. Um, but similarly, when you drive through a wood, you're gonna smell the trees, um, you're gonna smell the pine, and you're gonna smell the oak, you're gonna smell flowers, um, you're gonna hear things, you're gonna hear the birds, uh, you're gonna hear people's conversations, snippets of conversation, uh, which are sometimes about the car as you drive by, people smiling and saying, hey, what is that? Is that a... Uh, sometimes they're conversations with you, people feel this, because I think of your exposure in the car, they feel a sort of invitation to interact with you even while you're in it. But you see things and then you smell things and you hear things in a really different way. Uh, because the Morgan does nothing to protect you from those acoustics or those scents. It doesn't filter them. It doesn't inhibit them. Uh, it's not trying to uh, hit some low decibel level of noise. Uh, you hear what's around you. You see what's around you. You smell what's around you. Uh, there's a real honesty to it, a real intimacy to it. Uh, which again kind of contributes to that that sense of memory, that sense of a moment, that sense of a story. Uh, and, it, and it makes for a rich experience. It makes for uh, more than a drive. It makes for, uh, for a really rich memory. And that's what I want to be a collector of. 
I want to collect stories, not cars or cameras or watches. Um, I don't want to be a consumer of, of things, but to consume stories matters. And at the end of my life, when, when my family, my children, and hopefully grandchildren gather together, I hope more than anything else that the good thing I've left them are stories.